This week at Empires, we've got some events and a bunch of books. So this week at Empire, Thursday night, we have writing night. Come down, distraction free, we'll have some good music on. You can just sit down and get some work done, whether it be a comic book, a novel, a play, a marketing book, it doesn't matter. Come down and write with us. Friday night, starting at 7 p.m., we are watching Iron Giant. It's free, all ages, there's free popcorn. Feel free to be, uh, bring food, drinks, whatever you want. We've got a convenience store down here, which is great. You can get all your snacks there. And then Saturday, 11 a.m. Lego Brick Builders are meeting up. New and old, if you just want to see what they're doing, come down. It's a great day again, all ages. And then next Tuesday at 6 p.m. on our Google Hangout interview channel over on YouTube, we are going to be interviewing Terry Moore of Strangers in Paradise fame. Of course, you'll know him from Echo, Rachel Rising, Motor Girl just finished, and top three starts now, Strangers in Paradise, the newest volume, the continuation of the old series starts tomorrow. I actually haven't finished the old series. It's the only thing I have not read from Terry. I've started it. I'm tempted to just jump in and then go back and reread it. But the completionist in me says I can't do that. Damaged new characters over at the New 52 slash Rebirth. Looking forward to seeing what they've got here. They've got a lot of different characters coming over the next few weeks. Kill or be killed. I talk enough about this team. You don't need to know anymore. And if you don't know who they are, look it up. Star Wars, we've got the Forces of Destiny. They're exploring one-shots, female characters in the Star Wars universe. I don't know who this Twi'lek is, Hera, but she's a pilot, so she's good by me. Rose over in Star Wars Adventures. Robotech, look at that Roy Fulker cover. Spoiler, spoiler alert. That word's hard to say. Spoiler alert. Uh, it's easier to type. Pacific Rim. I just saw the comics out, but I just saw on Sunday Shape of Water, Del Toro, is the man. It's not as good as Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth should have won a ton of awards, but I think it was stacked against it because it wasn't in English. I was actually caught off guard when this one was. I knew nothing about it. I just knew that Del Toro is freaking amazing. It was a great movie. Go see it. It's at UA. Six dollars every day at UA because it's not as good as Century. Sorry, UA. Uh, new Image Book. There's actually a couple out this week. Copperhead. Still loving that sci-fi western. Aquaman. They're trying to free Atlantis from a tyrant so that they can, of course, put a new one in. Superman. Tomasi's doing a great job. Oh, those covers on Batman. Bruce and Selina are engaged. Last couple issues, they met up with Lois and Superman, and they're essentially just making a the tour of the DCU, letting everybody know that it's happening. Look at that. It wraps up. Venom Inc. Mighty Thor, what's going to happen to Jane Foster? I just watched Thor 1 last night in the Watch 1 Marvel movie a week to get caught up before Avengers. The first Thor movie is a lot of fun. I'm not looking forward to the second one. Of course, it's not as good as the third. And Avengers No Surrender Part 2. It's going to be a weekly, evidently, that is going to uh, just encapture the big event. So we'll see you guys in the shop for all the events we told you about. Go to empirescomics.com if you want to see it and more, as well as all the Facebooks, Twitters, Periscope, Snapchats, Twitter. I already said that. All that stuff. We'll see you guys in the shop.